I made a free script for After Effects that lets you lock any property on a layer without having to lock the layer itself. Let me show you how it works. I'm just gonna open up the transform controls for this box and select all of them. And over here, this is Property Locker, a very simple script, one button, and it's really self-explanatory. With property selected, click the button, and immediately all of those properties are locked. I cannot move this around, I can't scale it, I can't rotate it, I can't lower the opacity. All of those properties that I just added locks to have hard coded the values that they were at the time that I clicked the button via expressions. So there's nothing I can do to modify these properties. Now, there's not really a situation that I can think of that I would want to lock every single transform property, but I just wanted to show you how quick it was to do. You can just as easily unlock properties if I select a few of these and click the button again, it's going to preserve whatever that hard coded value was when it restores or unlocks those properties. So you saw that as I was moving that box around, this value was changing, it's reverted back to what that hard coded value was. And this works for any property that can be controlled with keyframes, even paths. So if I go into this rectangle path, I convert it to a Bezier path, I can lock this property. I'll just lock it and it's going to generate the expressions that it needs to draw those paths, which could come in handy if you have specific shape layer artwork that you don't wanna accidentally manipulate, especially when switching to the pen tool. I cannot edit that path, I can't grab the points because I locked it with expressions. This might seem a little bit unnecessary, but I promise you, once you start to realize that you can lock any property, you're probably going to start wanting to do it more often. The fact that we're limited to locking the entire layer in After Effects is really what has gotten us in this mindset that all of the properties have to be locked at once. This is especially useful for character rigging or rigging of any kind where you only want to manipulate certain properties and not mess with other ones. And Property Locker will identify if you have an expression applied already. So let's just bring the position property up and I'll add a wiggle expression to it. So just wiggle and we'll say 10 times a second with a amplitude of 50 and now it's gonna be wiggling around. If I try to lock this property, Property Locker is going to say, this value has an expression. Do you wanna overwrite it or cancel? So I can say overwrite and then it's going to lock that. And if I stop my playback, we're locked and I can unlock it again. Or if I go back to where I had my wiggle expression, run it again, I can say cancel and don't do that. And it's even intelligent enough to know if you have multiple properties selected and one or some of them have expressions, it's gonna list out the properties that have the expressions, allow you to overwrite or skip, but then continue with the operation. So if I say skip, it's still going to lock the other properties I had selected, but leave the ones with expressions. Like I said, it does seem like a really simple tool, but I promise you, once you start using it, you're gonna realize that it's a really nice feature to have to be able to just lock properties individually instead of having to lock an entire layer. Now you can install Property Locker as a script UI panel like I have right here. You just need to put it in the script UI panels folder for the version of After Effects that you're using. If you've never done that before, there are instructions on the product page. You'll just have to restart After Effects and then it'll show up in the window menu. But you can also install it in other tools like Code Runner, which is a free script launcher that allows you to create buttons to run scripts, apply expressions or presets really easily. And it works exactly the same way as clicking the button down here. It's just in Code Runner. And this works for tools like KBar or bar as well. You can install it in whichever way fits the best with your workflow in After Effects. There are download links in the description for both of these tools. While you're at my website, make sure you browse my other free tools as well as paid courses if you're interested in becoming a better motion designer. That's it for Property Locker though. I hope you get a lot of use out of it. If you run into any bugs or you have feature requests, let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, 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 hey,